Namaste, Ellerikum. Welcome to my channel. This is Lita Ninja. And we have today for you the brand new Lita Ninja suit. Ta -da. I'll try to take you through all the features that are put into this suit and give you a brief overview of what this actually is, where did this come from, and uh, what all features does it have. Uh, how do I look when I wear this and all that stuff. So let's get started with the video. ventilated level 2 um, armor included um, suit made by DRC DRC is a brand that makes suits uh, which, which are based out of UK and uh, they made quite a few suits for for the guys who um, who race at uh, British Superbikes and uh, there are a few zx 10 owners um, in the US who bought suits from DRC. So that is how I got to know that DRC is a guy who exists and makes suits, um, makes some really, really good looking suits. Full customization, that is what got me attracted to it. Um, I am a guy who, if you have been following me, you know that I am a guy who uh, likes a lot of customized stuff. Uh, I do most of the things on my own and most of the things that I do have have uh, been to my full customization. So uh, this suit uh, is something that I have designed completely. All the placement of the logos, uh, this green stripe, this, this white, black, green transition, um, this 97 number, this logo, this stripe here this stripe here um, this these logos here these these cutting stripes here the placement of all the logos the placement of um, all the patches that you see <coughs> the different color given to the right side and the left leg right leg and the left leg and uh, everything everything that you see on the suit right from the start to the end the color choosing the color the color scheme the customization the logos um everything is designed by me and once i finished the design i passed it on to them and then they did some checks to figure out if the design is feasible or not and then they went ahead with production um that is one thing that i completely liked about uh, drc they gave me full flexibility in terms of design what i want what i don't want and, and what kind of so I was very skeptic when I gave a design with random placement of these stripes and everything. <laughs> I spent a lot of days and nights to kind of finalize this. And uh, once I had this final, I just gave them uh, the design and then they started working on it. Uh, so this suit cost me uh, 695 uh, British, Great Britain pound, GBP, that's what they say. Uh, so this suit cost me uh, 695 GBP and let's let's get into all its features now. Alright, so if you visit drcleathers.co.uk um, and look for the standard features, the standard features that they offer on their fully customized leather suits, you'll find a list of uh, standard features. I'll try to take you through each one of them. 
the first feature is uh, this is a this is a cowhide leather this is not kangaroo leather um, so the first feature says that this is 1.3 mm um, cowhide leather so the thickness of this leather um, is 1.3 mm come on focus through that sigma sigma focus focus by uh, yeah so yeah this is 1.3 mm soft green milled cowhide is what is the first feature all right so, so the second feature is triple stitched main seams i think what that means is uh, wherever there's an interface uh, you have triple stitch so let me see if i can find an interface come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on. yeah so Yeah, you see this this is an interface um, between two different types of materials this is a, this one is a stretchable uh, material and this is the normal leather so i think this is th there are triple stitches three stitches between these two materials to hold them strong i think that's what triple stitch means so the next feature is um, reinforced kevlar lining and double layered uh, leather on shoulders uh, shoulders, elbows, uh, on the back side and on the knees. I think what that means is uh, you have you see this leather on the top. Uh, underneath, under this this top layer of leather, at at these key impact positions, there is another uh, there is another layer. I'm, I don't think I will be able to show that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So there's another chunk of um, Kevlar reinforcement and leather. There's a chunk of, I think, two, three layers in, in here. Uh, this runs all the way up to here. So all the way, uh, it forms around the elbow. I think that's what is the reinforced Kevlar and double layer leather stitching at uh, shoulders, elbows, knees on the backside. Uh, the next feature that we have is the level two, level two CE armor inside. So you see this yellow thing, this is, uh, yeah, this yellow thing, this yellow level two, this is a back protector. We have similar protectors on the inside at the elbow, here, on the knee, uh, on the hips, on the shoulders. Yeah, so that is the level two CE protectors on the inside. Let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, ta -da. impact defense system inside DRCC protection fitted hips, knees, shoulders, elbows, and back. See you, bro. Ta -da. Okay, so next we have what's called 11 point reactive fisharmonica leather stretch panel. Um, that is this one here. So you see this. Um, so this is the perforated leather main leather panel. This is the stretchable leather panel and this is what is called the 11 point fisharmonica blah blah uh, so on the back side you have these stretchable liners uh, running all the way from uh, under the shoulder going all the way like this and then coming back here next we have kevlar multi-point stretch panels those stretch panels are these guys you see that there's a difference in the material that we have here this is pure leather then this is uh, this is what they call it as Kevlar stretch panel. So this is a stretchable material that is placed at uh, strategically placed at different locations where you would sweat a little more than usual. So this is under the shoulders, in the armpits and uh, in the crotch area. And next we have uh, what's called reinforced Kevlar. So that is what you see here. Uh, so this reinforced Kevlar kind of gives you a fixed shape for uh, for your hands for your arms and uh, this one this one here this is very this is very hard and that's why they're calling it as reinforced kevlar it's kind of kind of hard this is placed at um, the elbow crook points is what they call it and uh, here um, so this this bent shape kind of gives you that bent uh, look when you're wearing the suit then we have replaceable colored sliders. So this is a replaceable colored slider for the elbow. Uh, this is the color that I wanted. And then we have the standard DRC TPU knee slider. This is a Velcro attachable knee slider. So you can remove this 
and then replace with a new knee slider when you're done using this one. Then we have this comfort neoprene, neoprene comfort neoprene cuffs. Uh, so when you wear the suit, this kind of helps you get your suit into the gloves easily. Then you have comfort padding at different different positions. Um, like for example, this is a small white pad that you see here. This is a comfort padding uh, somewhere around your chest. Uh, it come, it sits right here. You have that comfort padding in your somewhere in your biceps, uh, in your hips. Um, and then different different positions. You also have neoprene lined collar. So uh, what you see here is, is the same material that you saw here. Um, this kind of helps you absorb sweat and gives you a certain level of comfort. So there's a transition between leather and this neoprene material. Like the zips, these are the YKK, yeah. YKK heavy duty zipper is what is listed on the website uh, but yeah the feel of the zip is quite premium DRC army built tough yes it looks like it is definitely built very tough yeah you have YKK zippers at your elbow sorry your wrist uh, your main zip and then you have a zip running at your legs as well uh, so this is a tank grip. I'm not sure if this is listed on the website, but this is also something that comes as standard. Uh, this holds your legs onto the tank when you're, you know, kind of cornering and stuff. This is a rubber material. This is the same kind of material that you see on your tank grips and tank pads. Then you have this TPU armor at your elbows, shoulders, and uh, and the knee. Yeah, this is also completely customizable. You can choose the the white color, the white, oh, come on. This green that, that you see here, there's something that I've chosen. You can choose a color of uh, your choice. You can choose whatever color you want. This is again black here for me. On the other side, it is white. So kind of gives you some asymmetry there. But yeah, these are the TPU uh, sliders that the website is talking about. This is the GP. Air hum, as the website is talking about, this has got a standard hydration bag included. So you open this zipper, and then you um, kind of pull out the hydration bag and fill it up with water and then put it back in. Then, uh, yeah, you can use this zipper to keep sipping that water and stay hydrated. So that's about all the features that I have on this um, suit. Uh, let me try to put this on and um, then see you, show you how it looks. <laughs> Super suit. Whew. So there we have it. The best thing about the suit is, kind of gave me a quick reality check that I have to shed some weight and become a little bit more fitness conscious. Well, I've not been any fitness conscious from the moment I got my motorcycle. Uh, I've left all my badminton training, this, that, running training, everything, and I've put on some weight. Uh, this suit is made to measure the current me, but I think even if I reduce a little bit, it'll fit just fine. Uh, so this is all about my brand new, brand spanking new, amazing looking full race suit. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'm not sure if I've covered everything that you wanted me to say. Uh, but go on. This is all I can do for you now, quickly. Uh, there's some news. I'm moving to another city. So that is going to give a little bit of break to my YouTube stunt. Uh, it'll probably be a while before I get back to um, vlogging again and, and regularly upload videos. Do like and share this video with your friends if you think they'll be interested in getting a similar suit like this one. And uh, we'll take it from there. Cheers. You have a good day. See you in the next one. Cheers. Ta-da. Bye-bye.